in the last tutorial I showed you how to make a new film look like an old film by adding a grading of um, a tint, a vignette, some scratches and some black dots to give it an old fashioned film effect. Now as an extension to this what you'll probably want to do to make it look really authentic like if you're going for a silent movie style is actually add some titles that look kind of like this style um, and then put them in between um, during the editing phase. So this is Premiere Pro and what I've done here is just laid out some titles okay on my final sequence it's important that you've got your final sequence uh, before you um, start trying to uh, do anything else in After Effects so I'm just um, I've just finished off this edit here um, a couple of things that I needed to do in preparation for that okay um, is uh, to go to um, find an actual slide it's quite important that in uh, Google if you're searching images it has got these settings and you can go to tools and you can search for a large size image that means that it will be uh, okay for the resolution for um, using in Premiere Pro if it's too small it will be pixelated obviously so you do want to make sure you get a large image try and get something that is um, the same or higher resolution than what you're doing with the screen so this one for example is 1024 by 768 that will be fine so I'm using that and I'm using that to edit my sequence uh, in normal style before I go into After Effects now from the last tutorial what I've done is I've removed the video that was in this okay but as you can see what I've done is I've saved this and you'll probably want to do this as well because you can save this as old film if you save it as a project then you've always got these um, layers in here that make up your old film so you can obviously use that whenever you want to to just add in um, your sequence the other things that I've done as well as getting the old film slide okay I've also gone into um, and make sure that when you do go into these images don't download the thumbnail go to view image and then save the actual image itself so it's the highest resolution a JPEG is not the best image to use obviously you can find PNG's tips the better the quality image the better it will be um, in your final product but as you can see this sequence is simply been edited and all I've done with that is just uh, get my title slide okay slide that in as a JPEG as you can see very very simple just go to a bit of the sequence where I haven't got any footage, but yeah, just to put in the site title slide. So that's what that looks like. And then in order to add a title, you go to title, you go to new title, you go default still, click OK. It will then come up with a box and wherever the playhead is, it will show you what's underneath it in this screen here. Okay, so I've got my title slide there. I then want to add text, I click the text box and I then need to type in, so what I want to type in, um, whatever, you, whatever it might be, okay, dot dot dot, um, and then you can select your text, okay, uh, and you can uh, manipulate it in terms of choosing a font. I've chosen a particularly old fashioned style font. Um, if you want to find other fonts uh, because you're doing a particular genre, then you can use Daft Font. Um, Daft Font is a very useful tool in giving you fonts, okay, so in this particular program I can type in like old film for example, as soon as I type in old film I get, well there's no fonts, but anyway, um, if we do maybe old fashioned or old style will probably come up, let's have a look, yep, so Paris old style, that would be a good uh, style to use, so if I go download then that um, font file ends up in my downloads and once it is in the downloads you can then access that uh, so it's here it's called a TTF file on Mac so you just go install font and it will end up in your banks of fonts so you can then play with it okay CF Paris old style uh, if I now want to use that I've got that in my um, titles so this is the one that I did just a minute ago just as once upon a time um, you know and uh, I should be able to access that Paris old style, it might be that I need to quit before I do it, but I've already chosen my font from some of the generic fonts, okay, um, and that is obviously one of the more old fashioned looking fonts, there are various ones you can choose from, I've settled for uh, this one, okay, so because I quite like the old fashioned calligraphy style of it, well, the other thing I did incidentally was I actually went on to uh, YouTube to get some music for this, Okay, and I just typed in um, 
old fashioned um, silent movie music. So silent movie music or silent film music, okay? And I've actually just downloaded one of these clips. So I've got a bit of music that is in the theme of that genre, okay? Um, that's then obviously been downloaded and has also added there. So that's what you can see there with this file that says silent movie music. So I've got my sequence and I don't even have to actually export it because what I can do now I've got that sequence in Premiere okay I you can as I said before just import a project okay so if I now just go to After Effects what I can do is just go to import and import a file and then pick the project that I've just been working on so old film 2 project and let's see if I can get the sequence da -da 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 -da. There we go, yep, there we go, okay, bang a -rang. Okay, so now I've got my um, sequence in here, I can then just drag that into the bottom of my composition here in After Effects, and there it is. Uh, you can see the scale is slightly different, so what I'm going to do to start off with is slightly scale it up. You go to my transform options, I can then scale it up to the same size as the film, okay. Uh, I might go a little bit shorter because obviously silent movies weren't always in this format. They're usually slightly smaller than the screen itself. And I can also shrink my vignette down to match that if I want to get my vignette um, sort of size settings done there. So I've just go to vignette, you know, and I can just kind of uh, scale that down as well just so that those edges mask my old film okay and what I might do is just cut those edges off there uh, mask it with a black mask as well but at least the vignette there is still kind of showing up in that old-fashioned style uh, what I am going to do to the film itself is also just make it look like a bit of a flicker give it a bit of a flicker effect um, so in order to do that what I would do is just um, press P to get my position uh, and then hold the alt key while I press the time key and then I can actually change the position and tell this to do stuff so for example I want it to wiggle so I type in wiggle then I give it a command as to how I want it to wiggle so if I put in brackets here wiggle brackets um, 25 so in every 25 frames I want it to move by 1.5 pixels okay so it should wiggle randomly up and down left and right by 1.5 pixels okay um, then I want to go uh, Shift and T. That'll give me the opacity. Okay, and all of these things are under the drop-down menu if you want to know where they are. But those are just shortcuts for you. Uh, if I go to the opacity again, Alt and P, and then I ask that one to do the same thing. So wiggle. Okay, and uh, brackets 25 frames and by uh, five pixels. Okay. So that should then sort out my wiggle commands. Okay. There we go. So that should then make the film move slightly. Okay, as you can see, it's got a little kind of flickering effect now. Um, once we're done with that and we're happy that that looks like an old film, another thing that you can do is you can add a sort of a mask, square mask, if you want to make it. So rather than have that oval vignette, if you want to square up all the film so it matches the titles we can actually add that mask to the side. So if you wanted to mask off the sides, you could very simply do it with a pen tool. Okay, so for everything you do in After Effects, you need to create uh, like a new um, layer. Okay, so you need to do a new um, solid or a new adjustment layer or a new shape layer. A new shape layer would be good. So if we do a new shape layer, we can then use the pen tool to just draw a shape in this case I'm just going to mask the edges here okay so there's my shape it's red obviously I want it black so I'm going to just mask the edges there all right and uh, do the same on the other side all right so you just pen tool again click and pull and down and draw a box around the edges. I can use the edge of my slide there as a guide because that will obviously be where the edge of the film would classically be on a on a sort of silent movie. 
Now I've obviously enclosed all that. Uh, I might then want to go back to my vignette and have a look and see how it affects the film. If you think that you want to shrink that in a bit, you can do that, of course. Make it a little bit cosier. You know, give it that sort of old-fashioned camera lens effect if you need to, which is what I'm going to do here. Okay, another thing I probably want to do is just blur out those edges. So kind of slightly feather them. So if I go to effects, I can add a blur. I can add a um, fast blur, radial fast blur there. Okay, and obviously that will then just feather out the edge there. It gives it kind of a nice sort of slide deteriorated old slide look okay right now I'm happy with that and obviously with your shape layers make sure you're filling your stroke of black so you get that effect I'm happy with that so now I'm gonna go to render okay and I'm gonna add it to my render queue Ooh, add to render queue there okay um, there's a couple of renders in the queue already so let's get rid of those this is the latest one so it's gonna output to there quick time loss list um, you might want to do your video codec at h.264 because I think that's the best way to do it. All right, so video codec, I like h.264, works well for me, and it works well for everyone. It's very much a standard quality of film. Go OK, and then um, add it to the render queue. It's now in the render queue. All right, and then your output to, that's the name of what you want it to output to. I'm going to save it to the desktop. I'm going to call it um, old film. Style AA for Awkward Academy, which is Ryan's film. So I'm sure you're all aware. Anyway, there we go. And then you click the render, and that will be done in about eight minutes or so. Then, okay, so as you can see now, it's completed rendering. So uh, I'm just going to have a look at the final uh, effect. So it's in my visual folder here. Um, and uh, if you sort by date modifiers, you can actually see that it's the last thing there. So, old film style, Awkward Academy. Let's see what the final product looks like. And here we go. And if you wanted to add more effect, obviously, when you film the production, uh, you can add the black lipstick and things like that to make it more authentic looking. Um, but, you know, uh, it's not too bad. Possibly you can change the um, settings on the sort of deteriorated film with the edges to make them look more authentic. But, um, you know, you can add masks and stuff uh, if you want to make it look better. But, yeah, essentially that's, that's that. Hey, thanks.